All right, we're going to cook us some pork out on the grill today. And also, for me, I've got myself a Rocky Patel Decade Robusto. It's supposed to be a really good cigar. Well, let's light it up and see. I've never had one. This is my first time. Kind of a little guy. Well, it's a Robusto. Smells pretty good. And let me go ahead and clip this top real quick. Yep, that'll do. Sometimes think I don't clip quite enough off of them. But, you know, you don't have to clip, uh, clip off much. Just the top of the cap. It's a soft box press. And it does smell good. Oh, there we go. That's an interesting smell coming off of it. That's an interesting flavor, too. A little bit oily. A little bit of sweetness. Just a hint of spice on the finish. Some cinnamon through the retro hell. But other than that, pretty smooth. Kind of a dense pack, but quite a light draw. Well, let's see. It's five after four. Let's see how long this little sucker lasts. Let me share something with you real quick. When I'm sitting out here with my cigars, I hate it when they try to roll off of the, uh, well, I'm sitting on a sawhorse, but I hate it when they try to roll off of that and into the, gra into the grass. Let me show you something. So, I put this clamp here to keep my cigars from rolling off, but I don't really need it with this guy. He's a box press. He ain't going to roll off. So anyway, let me get that grill started and we'll cook us up All some right, pork. Alright, while we're waiting for that charcoal to light up, well, you can see it's lit, it's smoky, it's just, it just needs to get to where it needs to be. Let's talk about this guy for a little while. It's burning perfect. Well, actually, I gave it a touch up, but I honestly don't think it needed it. It probably would have caught up on its own. Now, I'm not a cigar reviewer. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. As you can see, there's lots of smoke coming out of this little guy. And um, the way I can describe the flavor on the draw is what it reminds me of. It's not a deep earthy thing or anything like that. But what it is, is if you took a bunch of dried fruit, chopped it up in little chunks, and added a little bit of sugar to it, and threw it in a bowl, and picked up and put a handful of it in your mouth it kind of reminds me of that no specific fruity flavor it just has that kind of dried fruit sweet just a little bit it's not overpowering it's just a little bit of that like a dried fruit sweetness and then there's a little bit of spice that comes in through the finish and also on the retro hell but overall It's a smooth, creamy smoke. It's very good. I'm glad I got. Um, I'm glad I got ten of these.
because I can see me smoking more of them. Well, let's see how far it's been. It's been um, a little over, for me, a little bit over half an hour. I tend to not smoke that fast. Also, as as I was smoking it, I set up my grill. I got the charcoal out. I got my grill tools out, and I came back to it. It's still burning. It did get a little bit wavy. You can see it's getting a little bit wavy there. But I feel pretty secure. It's, it's going to uh, it's going to self correct. Anyway, we'll let that burn for a little bit, and then we'll get back to it when the porkies are ready. The sun is in my eyes. That's why I'm squinting. Now, actually, I'm having burn problems with this guy. The uh, the wrapper is not really wanting to burn all that well. But it's been really humid out here um, for the last couple of months. I haven't had to add any distilled water to my humidor because it's just been absorbing it out of the air. And yes, my humidors are sealed, but it's that friggin' humid. I just got these in. They haven't had a chance to rest in my humidor for any length of time. And actually, I probably should have put them in my dry box before smoking them. Anyway... It's still tasting pretty good. It's picked up a little bit of spice. But that's about the only difference. Well, the charcoals are about ready to go. And it's about time for me to put them porkies on. So we'll be back right after I get that grill set up and ready Just to go. Just real quick. Them some thick porkies and they are gonna be so darn yummy the grill is pretty much ready for them just a hair over 300 i'm gonna go ahead and plop them suckers on my wife mixed up some barbecue sauce and we're gonna get to cooking them all right guys check this out um i was over at a friend's place my wife and i were at a friend's place they had just gotten a brand new grill and I had the pleasure of breaking it in for them. Because they know that I like smoking a cigar and grilling meat and drinking beer. Oh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go have to I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go and get myself a beer here soon. But they had a silicone brush. Um, I don't know if we should call it a basting brush or something, but I liked it. I liked the way it worked, so I just had to get myself one and check this out. It's this one right here. Of course, I had to get a fancy stainless steel one. It had to match, match my other uh, my other grill tools, and it doesn't match exact, but it's pretty darn close. Anyway, we got the pork on. Let me show that to you real quick. Oh, that's a lot of smoke. And smoke does get in your eyes, so. We're going to cook that pork a little while. I'm going to enjoy using that new brush. It works great. And I'm going to smoke my cigar and drink myself a beer. Natalia had to come out. He just wants to spend some time outside. He's just taking it easy. Sniffing around. And my wife's out here with me. Yay! Hi, Lisa! <laughs> just walking the cat. Well, he's not really interested in walking, but if he is... I'm sure you'll be walking him. And I'll get that on video too. They're done. I got them off the grill. Mmm. Don't that look yummy. We're going to take them on in the house. And we're going to cut them up and eat them. The, uh, the cigar, it lasted about an hour. But like I said, I actually... Should have left it in my humidor a little bit longer to get it, I don't know, acclimatized? Oh, I should have put it in my dry box. Well, I'm going to let them rest. I'm going to let the rest of them rest in my humidor. And I'm going to try it again sometime. Because I don't think it was really fair this time around. So, we'll see. It was overall a pretty good cigar. It just didn't burn all that well. But like I said, I'll try it again. I'm sure it'll it'll burn better. Okay, my wife cut it up 
and it looks yummy and luscious. Look at all that juice on the plate coming out of it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And hickory. And the hickory smoke, and that's hickory barbecue sauce too, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to try me a chunk. Just a little piece. Use your own fork. No. <laughs> I thought it was my fork. Oh, that's good. Oh my gosh. I'm using mm, this one. Yum, I'm using yum, it with yum, it. This yum. one's mine. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> oh, I almost had some juice go down my throat. Um, we're going to eat it now. It's yummy. It's delicious. And we'll see y'all next time.